creative sort of career, right? Mm -hmm. So there's some creative, you must be a very creative person yourself. Victoria's older, mm -hmm. so Victoria was the first one that you discovered this artistic talent in. Mm -hmm. When Victoria was uh, was an infant, mm. uh, I, 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 I was intensely involved in architectural design. Mm. So she would uh, crawl around the floor. I would give her the pen which I used to, uh, to design. Mm. So she Drag started it, with right? a lot uh, in pen rather than pencil. So a lot of earlier drawings is uh, as a record <laughs> is actually is, draw, yeah, is, is pen in drawings. Pen. So, oh wow. So the, well, the <clears throat> she, she's a very, very productive little one. <laughs> <laughs> Every time she draw, she draw many pages. So mm. I was sure it was uh, Kind of surprised mm -hmm. to see a little, you know, an, an infant basically, only right. a little one. Yeah, she said so she, she can barely standing up. She would uh, get a, you know, get a pen and drawing, uh, drawing shapes rather than uh, scratching. Right, not scribble. It was not scribble. Yes. So what shapes? Circles. Uh, Circles mm -hmm. like uh, triangles. Uh, that kind of thing. Wow. And she would not, not only just draw one single individual shape, she would draw over and over, lay, uh, uh, one on each, uh, <coughs> lay, uh, layering on top of each other. Oh. So, uh, so in a way, it's kind of a, a very geometrical kind of field in, in sure. her paper. Yes. Sure, and, and, and I have children, so I know that your typical one-year-old cannot, it, they just don't do that. They yeah, that. they yes. do scribble, or maybe they'll draw one circle, like you say, but yeah. not to do successive or, or, or to layer them on top of each other. Right, so I was surprised, wow. but I didn't know too much of infant uh, teaching, as a matter of fact. So when she goes to, uh, went to uh, uh, preschool, the mm -hmm. teacher told us, you know, say, oh, you know, this stage of children mm -hmm. supposed to be only uh, scribbling rather than, uh, you know, doing actual mm -hmm. kind of geometrical drawing. So we were very encouraged. <laughs> sure, of mm -hmm. course. Now, what about for Zoe? You know, because Zoe is three years, they're three years apart. Mm -hmm. Did you just assume that Zoe would have the same talent or did you push her towards painting in any way or drawing knowing that Victoria does it? Uh, <clears throat> not intentionally. Mm. I think uh, since they are siblings, you really get along each other very well. Sure. So I think it was for Zoe, so when her sister do that, she just naturally follow along. Sure, so, sure, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. And so how did you encourage their craft? Because I hear that Neither of them have ever been to an actual art class. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to us mm. uh, as parents, when we see them uh, come out, uh, the, you know, the art will come out in color or in, in whatever size, whatever uh, kind of style. It was just so fun to see it. Mm. We just. Uh, uh, Basically, is we we just want them to enjoy whatever they do, feel proud of what it, whatever they do. Mm. Did you think you know this term prodigy? Mm -hmm. You know, they've, it's been attached to both of your daughters. Mm -hmm. At that time, when they were younger, did you think they were prodigies? Uh, it really didn't come across my mind at all. Mm -hmm. I just uh, feel oh, they are talented. So mm -hmm. uh, because to me, prodigy or genius. It's, it's hard to, uh, I never met people like that in my life, and uh, there is no really definition, you know, and really, uh, you know, there is no, really not as literally so you can see, oh, this is a genius or that kind of, so I really did not really uh, think they are prodigy or they are genius in the beginning. You just knew they I were think good. they are just good. They are mm -hmm. very, very, very good. As a mom, I was, I truly was, uh, it's an honor, definitely an honor. Sure. Yes. Well, painting for you has turned from something that's, uh, maybe in the beginning was a little bit of a hobby, but now, you know, you're going to exhibitions, you're selling your paintings, it's a little bit like work. So is there ever a time where you feel like your mother has maybe pushed you to paint when all you really want to do is sit on the couch, I'm just, you know, and maybe watch TV or, you know, or play with your friends? Have you ever felt like you had to paint when you didn't want oh, to? Never. My mother would never push me to paint because if someone pushes you to paint, then the result is usually like pale and insipid. So it's like you can just like, you should just do it whenever you want to do it. Mm. And that's when the true inspiration comes out, right? For the yeah, paintings. I would. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, this is the end of segment one, but um, actually what we want to do is have Victoria finish up her painting and after our short break, we're gonna have her show us what she did. Well, stay tuned to see Victoria's piece of art. See you in a bit.
welcome back to Crossover. So Victoria is almost finished with her painting, her piece of work. Um, right, I'm just going to sign my name. Okay. Wow. So Victoria, can you explain what, you, what you've done here? Um, well, obviously this is kind of just a rough foot of what I would, you know, usually mm. do. Um, uh, it's a kind of uh, just a little taste of, uh, you know, uh, how I usually paint. It's more like a sketch because, you know, the supplies here are definitely uh, limited. Mm. Um, yeah, and, and they're different from, you know, the ones that we, uh, I use back at home. And because sure. of the time limit, uh, I didn't do a background or anything. It was just kind of very fast uh, and, you know, just a little taste of Sure, you know, yeah. sure. Yeah. And I know that this is part of it. There, there is a series that you have mm. of the... The, the female profile. Right, right, Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about her? And um, Well, uh, ever since I was really young, I've always been interested in nature and, you know, a kind of, uh, I always like to go outside, you know, to go enjoy, you know, the scenery and uh, just kind of sit there and, you know, look at the sky and like get flowers and stuff like that. So this profile right here, as you can see, it's uh, a young girl mm -hmm. and um, connecting here is uh, a flower and it's almost just like, you know, my love for nature mm -hmm. a little bit. So yeah. it, you kind of, you, you see yourself yeah. in that, right, in that yeah, profile. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. And it looks like, it looks like you because your makeup is very <laughs> yeah. similar to. Yes, 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 yes. How long have you been doing this type of painting? Um, well, this type of painting I've been doing for, I think, uh, like uh, two years now. Okay. It's uh, more decorative than uh, mm. uh, uh, compared to like my other pieces. This is definitely a more uh, quick pace uh, compared to my other ones. Uh, usually, if I finished, I do like the background, you know, with it. And um, I definitely have a lot more detail. And uh, I usually like to add little accents with, uh, you know, gold, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, just add final touches, what, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't have right now. So yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's mm -hmm. great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, Victoria, I'm going to have you and Zoe now trade places. All because right. Zoe is now going to show us um, her craft and how mm -hmm. she paints. Okay. All right, well, Zoe, we're going to let you get started. Okay. Um, you know, the first thing I noticed is Zoe was preparing her paints and her brushes is, you know, your palette was much smaller and had little dabs of paint, but Zoe went for big globs yeah. of her <laughs> paint. So I, I'm expecting a lot of color yes, in this yes, one. Yes. <laughs> Very different styles. So, Victoria, um, you know, you talked about the flowers and nature, right, right. Um, and I know there are a lot of apples right. in in your paintings. Why why fruit? Why flowers? You know? Well, you know, as I already said, I really do love nature, but I've always been an avid reader. So when I was young, I read a lot of, you know, mythology books and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, different kinds of myths. And the one that always struck me, though, was, you know, the myth of, you know, Adam and Eve and uh, how humans sure. came to be. And, you know, the apple, you know, on the tree played a really big part in that story. So that's why I use that a lot. The because, forbidden fruit. Right, right, right. Because since I'm also interested in the future, I'm definitely also interested in the past. Mm. So, you know, I kind of like to link them together. Like sure, that. Yeah, yeah. of course. What do your friends think of your paintings? Um, well, of course, like I said, at school, we definitely don't talk about, you know, like, you know, all this business stuff and like, you know, of course, when I come back from uh, all these events that I participate in all the time mm -hmm. at uh, different art auctions, they'll always ask me, oh, how much money did you make this time or how did it go or something, <laughs> or something like that. But, uh, and sometimes I almost feel like that <laughs> they're like overreacting a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, uh, they enjoy my work a lot and they're definitely always curious to find out, oh, you know, what I'm doing, what's going on now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but. Uh, at school, we're, we're still, you know, we're all students, definitely, and we're still learning, and we're still young, sure. and we've got, you know, there's still a lot left to do before uh, we, you know. Of course, yeah. you must have a great little college fund, uh, <laughs> you know, stashed away. Wow, this is the first time that I've turned around to take a look at what Zoe's <laughs> doing. A big swipe of color. Um, but yes, you know what I noticed?